Labor is the process of a baby leaving your uterus through your vagina. It usually happens between 37 and 42 weeks. There are three stages of labor. The first stage of labor is divided into three phases. Early phase, active phase, and transition phase. Early labor lasts from 6 to 12 hours. It may last to 3 days. It mostly happens at home, but you should be ready to go to the hospital. Contractions are 5 to 15 minutes apart and last for about a minute each. The cervix start to efface and dilate. These contractions shorten or thin the cervix. This process is called effacement. It is measured in percentages. These contractions may occur gradually over several hours or days. Most effacement and dilation from 1 to about 4 to 6 centimeters. The contractions last for 30 to 45 seconds and come every 5 to 30 minutes. The second phase is the active labor. During active labor, contractions are more regular and intense. It typically lasts between 4 and 8 hours. When this phase starts, you should already be in the hospital. Your baby begins moving into your birth canal. You may feel the urge to push. You might experience pain, cramping or pressure in your lower back or legs. Your water may break during active labor, which is when the amniotic sac around your baby ruptures. The contractions occur every 3 to 5 minutes, and last around 1 minute each. The cervix continues to dilate to 8 centimeters. The last phase is the transition phase. Contractions are more intense and close together. The cervix continues to dilate to 10 centimeters. It can last from 30 minutes to 2 hours. Contractions last 60 to 90 seconds. It's time now for the second stage of labor. When your cervix is fully dilated, it's time to start pushing. You'll push so the baby can pass through the birth canal and come out into the world. This stage lasts from 30 minutes to 3 hours, or longer if it's your first pregnancy. Your contractions may start to slow down. Your baby's head start to rotate under the pubic bone, something we call baby crowning. Your healthcare provider delivers your baby by guiding it out of your birth canal. Sometimes they use tools to help the baby out, such as suction or forceps. Your healthcare team may recommend waiting to push until the baby is lower, in a better position, or until you feel the urge to push. Pushing can take a long or a short time. This depends on the position of your baby, the effects of medicine, and how well you are able to push. Once your baby's head is born, most of the hard work is over. The rest of the body of the baby is usually born during the next one or two contractions. That will taking us to the last stage, after birth. The placenta separates from the uterine wall and is expelled and delivered. This stage typically lasts from 3 minutes to 30 minutes after baby's birth. Your healthcare provider can cut the umbilical cord.
skin to skin with your baby and a first breastfeed will be encouraged. Congratulations, you are officially a new mother. Thank you for watching this video. Please watch my other videos if you like the 3D medical animations.